I'm Dr. Bruce Korf at University of Alabama at Birmingham and also chair of the Medical Affairs Committee for the CTF. It's been clear for a long time that if we were going to develop effective treatments for neurofibromatosis, we first would have to understand exactly what is going on inside the cell and inside the body that leads to the formation of tumors and the many other features of, of the various NF conditions. Enormous progress has been made in recent years towards understanding those mechanisms. We have a pretty good picture now of how neurofibromas form and for that matter how vestibular schwannomas form and various of the other tumor and non-tumor effects of NF. Right now the emphasis is on continuing to fill in these details and also to translate this progress into new forms of therapy. It's very encouraging to realize now that for the first time there are clinical trials going on for both NF1 and NF2 and I hope in the coming years also for schwannomatosis. It will take a while, I'm sure, before we hit the right combination of medications and find the circumstances that work best, but there is true progress as evidenced by the fact that we are now finally able to enroll patients in clinical trials with the possibility of either slowing the rate of growth of some of the tumors or perhaps over some time in the future even reversing the existing tumors. So it's a time of great hope, always uncertain, how quickly things will translate into routine medical practice, uh, but at least the effort is underway and the journey has begun.